welcome, 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 welcome back to Cousin's Net Farm. So, on this channel, remember, we teach you two things, what you need to know and what you need to do to be very, very successful in snare farming business. So, today, um, first of all, if this is your first time of visiting this channel, if this is your first time of coming to our channel, please, we want you to click on the subscribe button below this video and the bell notification icon. So that whenever I release an awesome video such as this that has to do with snare family, you are going to be among the first set of persons that YouTube will be notified. And also, if this video or any of our video is very helpful to you, please, after watching, always do well to do what to like the video so that it will help the video to rank high on YouTube. So, having said that, uh, today I actually want to talk about um, how snares met. As in, it's a uh, popular question that I actually receive every time. That uh, how do snakes met? How do they reproduce? How do you identify the female snake from the male snake? And sometimes, to those who are actually new in snake farming business, it becomes so confusing. They don't really actually get it on how these things work. So, I want to. Um, actually bring it down today and explain the facts on how snakes met and how they produce so that you have a clear understanding of how this business works. So, first of all, I want to start by saying that uh, the snakes are known as homophrodites. They are homophrodites, uh, meaning that the snakes have both male and female organ. So, a particular snail have a male organ and also a female organ. So that helps each snail to do what to mate and to reproduce. So there is nothing like when it comes to snail family business, there is nothing like uh, this particular one is a female snail, this particular one is a male snail, and all the rest of that. No, snails don't have male and female. Every snail have both a male organ and a female organ, and that is why every snail has a capability of what of laying eggs and doing what hatching the eggs. So that's why in a snail farm or in a snail pen like this, you don't see one particular uh, uh, snail laying egg and the other one is not laying. Probably if the other one is not laying is that as a result of some factors. Maybe it has not been fed well, or it has not gotten to the point of flea and all the rest of that. But not actually that is a male snake. No, we're going to have male snake and we're going to have female snake. So, each and every snake is homophrodite. So, they have the male organ and they have the female organ. So, the reproduction goes inside within them because of the male and female organ they have. So, once you feed them well, in the right feed, the right food that they need to take and the adequate calcium, it will help to form the eggs inside them and they will not be able to lay for you. And that is why if you have 10 snares in your pen, the 10 have the ability to lay because each of them have both the male and female organ. So next time, don't think that we have uh, some particular snares that belongs to men, um, Species, while others belong to the female species. No, we don't have male and female snakes. All snakes are the same. They have the both male and female organs. So now that you have known, I believe next time you will not be confused on uh, how the snakes met, how they are able to reproduce, whether we have uh, female snakes, whether we have male snakes. No, I believe this have actually. Um, been clarified and have gotten uh, a good knowledge of harshness met. So remember on the description um, page here, yeah, I dropped a link, is our telegram link where we have um, a, a where, where we have people of like minds who are interested and we share updates, we share a helpful resource that will help you to be um, up and doing in your snare family business. So you can do well to join the telegram channel so that whenever we drop an awesome information on how to um, on how general webbing of the snare how you what you need to do and what you need not to do to be successful in snare family then you will 
also receive it and probably if you also want to reach out to us our number is also in the description below and um, i think on the screen you will also see it you can contact us anytime any day we'll be able to do what to give you a lasting for um, a lasting solution to all your snare farming issues thank you once again for watching see you in our next video